when a rock spider goes to war with a lichen bark mantis, one of them will vanish forever. On a stony jungle floor, a rock spider waits patiently for her next victim. With her ultra-low profile and mottled disguise, she's equally at home on rocks or on trees, able to hide and hunt like a sniper. She's got very finely tuned sensory hairs on all of her legs, excellent vision with a very wide field of view, so she'll sit there motionless and just wait to detect a passerby. Cunning camouflage isn't this killer's only trick. She's also a spider speedster. These spiders are amongst the world's fastest animals. We're talking in the order of 60 body lengths per second. That would be the equivalent of us running at 250 miles an hour. Rotated legs hinge laterally instead of vertically, so she can move in any direction. A flattened body allows the spider to get herself out of a tight spot by getting into one. If the rock spider comes up against a serious threat, its first tactic is to run for the nearest nook or cranny, squeeze itself in, and hope that the predator can't follow it inside. A jumping spider is a quicksilver killer, but it's about to find itself between a rock and a hard place. It didn't even see the rock spider coming. There's no wrapping in silk or other fancy containment device. It's all about injecting the venom and then just waiting for it to do its work. <laughs> The rock spider isn't the only predator around these parts with stealth and speed. The lichen bark mantis gives the spider a run for its money. During the day, it hunts facing down on trees and it holds itself very close to the bark. So it can sit out there in the middle of the day hunting and not be noticed. Unlike most mantids, the lichen bark mantis has a short, stubby body. But extra long legs make it quick off the blocks. This is such a fast little mantid. They really are pretty bold. And if they're threatened, they just zip away from the predators. Very little escapes the mantid's cold, unblinking gaze. Enormous compound eyes also colored to aid camouflage, are supremely powerful motion detectors. They move their heads from side to side to give them more binocular vision. And if something moves, they're on it very, very rapidly. It doesn't need great vision to spot this potential needle. A bright green Katie did is like a blazing neon sign over an all-night diner. Super sharp mandibles tear it to pieces. It's fast. It's stealthy. These mantids are cool. But this cool cat is about to face a far more formidable foe. The rock spiders come prowling for fresh meat. What happens when these two speedy stealth fighters duel to the death? They're both very capable ambush hunters. And they're both just waiting to pull the trigger when they detect the slightest sign that the other is about to spring into motion. Next, the tree terror meets the rock horror. Then, dressed to kill. And later, battle of the silk assassins. Midnight in the forest. Two shapeshifters face off. A rock spider turned tree climber is on a quest to kill. Waiting for it, a lichen bark mantis. 
The rock spider relies on large fangs and lethal venom. The lichen bark mantis has spiked arms and razor sharp mandibles. Which monster will survive to see the dawn? The spider's first move is her first mistake, giving away her position. The mantis's keen eyes are now trained on the intruder. The mantis makes a series of lightning-fast lunges. The spider evades. The difference between life and death here is reaction times measured in milliseconds. It's a deadly game of cat and mouse, each trying to gain the upper hand. This time, the mantis snares a leg, but the rock spider slips away once more. The spider knows she's in trouble. The mantis pounces. The rock spider throws off a leg as a life-saving decoy. Well, there's no turning back now. The mantis truly has the upper hand. There's no place to hide. The mantis charges. Raptorial legs clamp shut. Spines bite down on flesh. Outpaced, the rock spider is beaten at her own game. I've got to admit, on this one, I was sure that the rock spider was going to get this mantis. The spider doesn't have time for regrets. In a blur of slicing mandibles, the mantis helps the rock spider achieve her final and very convincing vanishing act. I would comment on the aftermath, but there's nothing to comment on. The rock spider has totally disappeared from the face of the earth.